Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limble's product team. Today, we'll be talking about navigating Limble from our mobile app and what it looks like to work on a task from a mobile device or tablet. We've designed the mobile app to resemble the desktop experience with better on-the-go functionality. Download the Limble app from the App Store or Google Play and log in using your credentials. If you're unsure what those are, contact your Limble administrator or manager. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limble, your screen may look different from mine. If you have any questions, contact our support team or talk to your dedicated Limble CSM. Without further ado, let's get started. When you log into Limble on a mobile device or tablet, you'll be taken to the mobile homepage. Consider this the hub of all your work on the go. You can refresh your data anytime by swiping down on the homepage. On your homepage, there are four main headers, Essentials, Work Orders, Search, and Others. Under the Essentials header, you'll find your dashboards and open tasks. Under the Work Orders header, you can start a work order or submit a work request. Under the Search header, you can look up assets, parts, vendors, and POs from all locations where you have access to see them. Finally, the Others header includes some miscellaneous functions. From here, you can receive PO items, scan a QR code, add an asset, and use the Maps feature. The top of the homepage includes user settings, notifications, and shortcuts to other places in the app. From right to left, clicking on your profile picture will take you to your user profile. Under Edit Profile, you can change your profile picture, contact information, language preferences, and more. Here, you can change your password and access your account and billing preferences. You can visit our product feedback board to submit feedback to our product team and browse our help center for how-to resources and best practices. You can also cache files here. Access your notifications from the bell icon. The last button on the top of the homepage is the sandwich icon, which will open a new navigation menu with all of the features and functionality the mobile app has to offer. This allows you to get where you need to go from any page in Limble without having to return to the mobile homepage. Some of the more commonly used features can be quickly accessed from the bottom of the screen from these shortcuts. Access your dashboards by clicking the dashboard icon. Check out open tasks by selecting the task icon. Start a work order from the work order icon. And use the search icon to perform a quick global search across the entire app. You can return to the homepage at any time by selecting the Limble logo. While we won't cover all functionality on mobile in this video, let's briefly touch on what tasks look like and where to find some of the more commonly used task functions. I'm gonna open this HVAC work order as an example. When working on tasks in Limble, it's important to keep the task open so that the task timer keeps track of your time for you and can help you more accurately track time spent on a task. If you quit the app or exit a task, the task timer won't track your time for you. The green plus button, also known as the action button, expands a list of options. Here, you can add tools to a task, log time without completing a task, start a PO or put in a purchase request, add invoices, and add parts to a task. Let's assume that for this work order, I need to replace the filter in the unit and that another member of my team needs to handle some electrical work later, which means I'll need to add a part and log my time without closing out the task, since more work will take place when I'm done. I'm not sure which type of filter I need to use for this HVAC unit, and I also want to check the user manual to see if there are any safety precautions I need to take when working on the unit. I can find this information by clicking on the asset in the work order. Once in the asset card, I'll scroll down to see that someone has added the user manual and I can review it here. Once I'm done there, I can navigate to the parts tab to see which parts are associated with this asset. The filter I need is already related, so I know which one to grab for my task. I'll exit the asset card and click on the action button. Then I'll click add part, select the air filter and click add part. You can see the part is now added to the task. I'll complete the replace filter instruction, and now I'm ready to log my time. I'll click on the action button again and select log time from the list of options. As you can see, the task timer has kept track of how long I've had this work order open. I'll log my time and click record time. Now I can exit the task and my colleague can pick up where I left off. If I need to complete the task, I would instead click the green check mark button 
and follow the instructions on the complete task screen to close out the task. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. You can also visit our Help Center anytime for lots of great information or talk to your dedicated Limbal CSM to learn more.